Hi, everyone. Thank you for jumping on. We're joined tonight by Coach Fraser. We'll start with his general thoughts on tonight's game, then go to questions. I thought it was a, uh, a well-played tactical game between two good teams. Uh, I, was, I was really proud of our guys. I thought we were very disciplined in how we went about it. Um, and uh, I would say Seattle was very disciplined in the way they approach us as well. And as I said, it was a, a well-fought tactical game. Um, disappointing to obviously lose the lead. And when you look at the goal, you know, again, I give Seattle all the credit in the world. They're a very, very good team. But uh, the goal is, um, is one that's going to cause some debate around here. And, <clears throat> you know, we, we love VAR for all the calls that they get right. Um, but it's disappointing when you feel like with all of that help that the calls still aren't right. So it's a little bit disappointing to, to drop the game. But like I said, it was um, a really, I thought, well-played game between two pretty well-organized teams. All right, what are questions? Now we'll start with Matt Pollard's last word on soccer. Hi, Robin. Thanks for the time. Uh, Mark Johnson's one of the original uh, season ticket holders for the Colorado Rapids. He was not at the game tonight, to my knowledge. This is his first home game missed since, uh, with the exception of 2020, when games were played without fans. Um, you know, do you have any message you'd like to send to Mark, or what can you say about him? You know, as I, an exemplary fan. Uh, one hundred percent, Mark. Our thoughts are with you, and we certainly are wishing you a speedy recovery and. Training isn't the same without you there, so we're looking forward to having you back as quickly as possible. Go to Brian Jennings, Burgundy Wave. Hi, Coach. Hey, thanks again. Um, the way things started out, I mean, a lot of kind of putting Seattle under some pressure, and it you know, you guys were in that attacking third, and not just for possession's sake. Um, it was actually, you know, seemed to come to some fruition. How was the, how was the attack kind of linking up with the maybe the main four guys up there in your eyes? How was the last part? Was the last part of the question? Oh yeah, sorry. I mean, how was the attack kind of li linking up or lining up, you know, with those front that front group as the game progressed? Yeah, I thought we again we. We're pretty disciplined in how we defended and won some balls in some good spots. And, um, you know, the attacking guys got into some decent areas. And as you said, we were able to put them under some pressure, um, get into some good crossing situations, uh, situations that we probably need to do better with. But we really did a decent job of getting ourselves into some, di in some, into some positions where we could have been quite dangerous. Um, as I said, I, I thought it was a really well played game. Back to Matt. Tom and Dom gets on the score sheet. I believe his first goal off of a set piece and first goal at home since returning to the club. Your thoughts on his performance and how he's integrated in with the squad um, and been effective from the run of play and on restarts? I thought Dom was really, really good tonight. I thought he held the ball up for us. Uh, helped us link through the midfield at times, uh, was threatening uh, with some good runs behind and got some shots off. And then obviously the goal is the, the, the cherry on top. He was, it was a very good performance for him tonight. Back to Brian. Thanks again, Robert. Yeah, I, you as a as a defender, defensive minded guy, um, as the second half went on, you know it, it seemed to be going your way. Is there much else you guys can do, or the, excuse me, the guys can do, uh, you know, in a late game situation like that, or is, like you said earlier? I mean, Seattle just not giving up in a darn good team. Um, I think the question is, what could they have done differently defensively? Try, trying to decipher, but I think that's what you. Uh, I was trying to trying to say that in a nice way, I guess. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, I I thought we had a brief period where we got just a little bit stretched out, and in that mo in those moments, uh, Seattle was able to put together 
um, a couple of threatening attacks. Um, and uh, as I said, I thought we were really well disciplined for most of the game. And I thought in those few moments, uh, just prior to the goal, that we were a little bit stretched and uh, not quite as dense as we had been before. And as a result, they, they got some opportunities um, or certainly got some looks at the goal. Back to Matt. I've been telling Acosta back at the left back position at times um, tonight, and we've seen him do that earlier on. You're, what was the thinking behind playing him in that role at times, and what did you make of his performance? Thank you. Uh, we have a lot of games. We have a lot of games over the next uh, two weeks, and Lucas put in a really solid shift on the weekend, and it was an opportunity to get fresh legs in the position. We know Kellen is extremely versatile and uh, can excel in a number of different positions. And I thought he was very good for someone who doesn't play there all the time. Uh, the looks are different, the defensive reads are different, and you have to be able to pick that up very quickly. And I thought Kellen did a good job tonight. I'll have to take a pause there. I'll be back with Dominic Baji in a few minutes. Thank you. Thanks.